Well, it's road trip time again, and we are on spring break in Pensacola, Florida, and we're going to be traveling 500 miles in one day starting tomorrow morning from here all the way to Venice, Florida, and we're gonna take you along for the ride. So before we get started, let's take a look at the route that we have planned. Okay, right now we are sitting here near Pensacola, and we're gonna be spending the night up here in Crestview in that area. And then we're going to have a long drive all the way down the Panhandle into Central Florida, down past Tampa, and then over to the Venice, Florida area. It's gonna be about a nine hour drive barring any strange Florida traffic, um, which is likely to happen. But uh, you'll see all our stops. You'll see the good, you'll see the bad, you'll see the indifferent. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this trip with us and uh, see you on the road. Getting ready to go to the hotel for the night, but we are going to supercharge for a little bit um, in Crestview, Florida. The hotel is just down the street. So why are we doing it tonight? Well, it's always better to supercharge when your battery is warm and when you've been driving, the battery warms up. So the next question is, is how long do we need to supercharge because we're gonna stay overnight at the hotel? Well, the first thing you should do is you plug in your destination for tomorrow. And for us, it is Venice Beach. And you'll see that it wants us to sit here for 35 minutes so we can go all the way to Lamont, Florida. Um, we're not gonna do that because, let me show you. So here we can see Lamont. If I come over here, and I turn on the supercharger network, you can see there are a number of superchargers between here and where we're gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap this one here, let's say Chipley. In fact, I'm gonna pick the next one, which is uh, Mariana, Florida. And let's just add that something that usually will happen when you don't have enough quite to get to your next stop is it will go ahead and calculate that you are going to go to a supercharger you don't want to go to you want to go to this one i'm going to charge it long enough to get to mariana from here so i don't want that so what you come down here is you can just say remove all charging stops and let it recalculate now it's going to yell at us because we obviously can't drive from mariana all the way to venice beach but if everything calculates out correctly says that we can get to Mariana with 7%. Now we're gonna wait till it gets up to about maybe 20% because we're staying overnight at a hotel. We're not gonna lose any battery tonight because we're gonna turn off sentry mode. We're not gonna check the app. It's gonna be the same thing in the morning, but into morning. But in the morning, we're gonna have a cold battery and that means our range is gonna be lower. So we wanna make sure that we have enough juice in the battery to get us where we need to go, even with a cold battery and preconditioning. So we're gonna sit here until it says that we can get to Mariana with about 20 ish percent and then we'll head down to the hotel okay we are all charged up we're at 61 percent after messing around with the nav a little bit uh, it's saying that we can get to uh, mariana if with about 24 percent which is plenty even with having a cold ish battery in the morning we are in florida it doesn't get super super cold like it does in iowa but uh, it is going to be cool and it is going to have an impact probably a few percentage points so we're going to get unplugged we're going to get to the hotel and we'll pick things up bright and early tomorrow morning Good night. Good morning, we've got a big day ahead of us. It is bright and early. We're about ready to hit the road. We're here at the hotel. Um, it took about a percentage to get from the charger here to the hotel. So we're sitting here at 59%, but now instead of 27% arrival, it is telling us that we have 14% arrival because it is cold. It is currently 41 degrees, which is pretty cold for Southern Panhandle of Florida. But we're gonna see how far we can get. If things don't improve, there is a bailout point before that because I picked a supercharger that was not the next one down the road, but two down the road to give me potential options. Um, but uh, we'll just see how it goes and we'll check in when we get to the next supercharger, whether it be this one or something else. <laughs>
All right, first stop of the day, Mariana, Florida. That last leg, 89 miles, 354 watt hours per mile, which is high, but coal battery preconditioning, that's what happens. So we're getting plugged in and we're gonna be here for about 15 minutes and then we'll be on our way. We're all charged up and ready to hit the road and we actually overcharged a little bit because um, here at this stop, there's not a lot. I guess there's a DQ and McDonald's, but uh, we had to wait a little while at McDonald's for our breakfast food. So next stop, it looks like, is going to be Madison, Florida, which is 109 miles. So let's get unplugged and let's hit the road. Pulled into the supercharger in Madison, Florida. That last leg was 111 miles, 327 watt hours per mile. Uh, pretty much uneventful, although we did pull into the supercharger here and it looks like four of them are iced out by a GMC pickup truck with a trailer. So fortunately there are four others and it's uh, only one other Tesla here to charge, so we're good to go. Um, we're gonna get plugged in and we're gonna be here for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, the nav is saying we only have one more stop after this, but it's a long stop. And I'm gonna see what I can do to get us to our destination faster, hopefully by stopping one more time. After playing around the nav a little bit, it wanted us to go to Ocala and then all the way to Venice, Florida. And I picked a supercharger that is about halfway in between. And this is gonna be a 40 minute charge, 45 minute charge. That's really deep into the battery. We sit there a long time. And it gets us to our destination about 10 minutes earlier by stopping this extra stop here and just getting out and stretching our legs. So get there faster, sometimes by stopping more. So that's what we're gonna do. Just arrived at Ocala, Florida, that leg, 130 miles, 320 watt hours per mile, starting to get into Florida traffic. This is a supercharger we've been to before. It's at a Wawa. So we're gonna get plugged in. We're gonna be here for about 20 minutes and just have enough time to grab some lunch. arrived at Brooksville, Florida. It's only been 51 miles and that leg was 321 watt hours per mile. Um, this is kind of a pre-selected one that we did instead of deep charging where we were on the last stop. Um, we picked this one. In fact, after we left the nav, picked this one as well because we're just north of Tampa and I really don't want to stop at Tampa even though there's lots of choices in Tampa, but we're going to be rolling through Tampa probably during rush hour on a Tuesday, so I'd rather get it out of the way. We're going to be about 20 minutes and then hopefully the next stop will be the supercharger at our destination in Venice, Florida. So check in in a bit. We spent a little extra time here at uh, this particular supercharger. And as it turns out, 
we don't need to actually stop at the Venice Supercharger. We can make it to our final destination at least. Hopefully that's the case. It says 29%. Um, we're sitting here at 89% um, just because we just had other things going on. And uh, so we will check in when we get to our final destination and wrap up this entire trip. Go from there. Well, we made it to our destination. It's actually the next day. We're having a great time down here in Florida. The lighting wasn't the best when we pulled into our final destination, but we are here. We made it. That lasts like 119 miles, 284 watt hours per mile consumed. Why was it so low? Well, temperature matters. It was over 80 degrees down here in Florida and it just seems to help everything when things just get a little bit warmer. All right, there you have it, our Florida man road trip, 500 miles from Alabama to Venice, Florida, all in one go. Had a great time, more or less everything worked out exactly as we thought, except for that one supercharger, which had about half of them iced out with an old pickup truck and a trailer. But other than that, everything was cool. So if you're interested in seeing what it's like to road trip from Iowa all the way to Alabama, over a thousand miles, check out this video right here and you can see for yourself what it took to actually get that done. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscriptions are always welcome. And if you're looking to pick up a Tesla of your own, and I would highly recommend it, make sure you use that referral code. Any referral link will do, but if you wanna use the one below, that would be great. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.